Middle school, uh, our first tune is going to be called Count Me In. It's a great old chart by Billy Byers that was written for the Count Basie Orchestra. You're going to hear our piano player, Kai Adams, and as well as our lead trumpet player, Mr. Eli Peterson.
center, Isaiah Morris.
I'm going to get started with you guys. And by the way, that uh, Barry Sachs was great. And, you know, uh, what's that title of that thing? Right. Right. Very the Barry Sachs yeah, was very good. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that all the way through. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about uh, all the good things that I heard, which was many. And uh, you're really lucky. Whatever he's doing to you is the right stuff. And uh, so, good, good work. Now, I'm going to start with the guitar player because I haven't heard any Freddie Green today until now. And I, I thought you did, you know, you saw him do this. And this is, uh, in the kind of pieces they're playing, that's what's laying down the really good rhythm feel. And he, he's got his guitar adjusted to a jazz sound. And he's, and he's laying it down. And it's not as easy as it sounds to really play it like he's doing it. So good job there. Bass, you're right on it. Uh, I, I like that. In fact, uh, I love the rhythm section. Uh, you know, that you're, uh, I hear Joe talking about chewing tobacco all the time. The way, you know, I don't smoke. But, but that's the way to teach that. And I, I'm hearing that uh, in there on your, uh, on your shuffle stuff. It's really good. So keep it up. Perhaps in this hall, the bass drum was a tiny bit loud, but you know, I'm, I'm being pretty picky. And nice comping on the piano. So this is a really wonderful middle school rhythm section. They should go far. So very good. All right, uh, trombones, really nice. Now, your, your ensemble will play in tune if the trombones do. And if the trombones don't, you've got no chance. And for the most part, you guys did a really wonderful job with the balance sound and the inside part sounded good. It was really a pleasure to hear that. Trumpets, fine job. I uh, like your mute work. And of course, you always have to be really careful on intonation with the mutes, right? And for the most part, for the most part, it was really quite good. So congratulations. Good stuff. Saxophone, really nice. Really good. Really nice. I, I really like that. I like I like the sax section a lot. If I was going to say something to the saxes to maybe get a tiny bit more out of you, is at this point you probably need to start projecting just a little more, especially if, if they're on risers. I don't know if you practice on risers or not. If you do, uh, you know you just uh, I, what I heard is really good. Of course, now you take a chance. When you start really blowing, or blowing more than you are, projecting more, then playing in tune is harder, and a good tone is harder. But that, that will, that'll get you into high school doing playing real well. Who's the tenor man? Nice job, okay? Now, what I would suggest for you, now, because you're playing so well, I would start working on a little vibrato. Have you thought of that? Yeah. Okay, that might be the next step. Because remember when you play uh, play a ballad kind of piece, yeah. uh, it's kind of usually is imitating the human voice. And if you listen to a, a good jazz singer, you're going to hear, you know, that little touch of vibrato at the end of the pitch. You know, so I think I think that'd be really cool for you to, to work on that. Uh, but what a nice job! And remember this: when you play a little vibrato. You know, saxophone is a tough instrument to play into because it's not a perfect instrument at all. And uh, like the vibrato gives you a little leeway. It actually is easier to play in tune if you have a tiny vibrato for some reason. So anyway, so great band. Uh, let's see, what did you finish on? Let's try a, try a little bit of uh, the, the berry thought of you. I really like that. That's cool. <laughs> Uh, why not? Yeah, you're the star. I haven't asked anybody to do this today at all. I'm gonna have you, that was actually better than when I heard when we started. Uh, I'm going to ask you to play it one more time. Then I'm going to ask you to try to sing in your own range your note. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you just to, to play that. Let's play it. And then sing that too. Here's the play. Sing it. Play it. Ready? And sing it. 
Claiming the E flat third trombone. Can you sing that pitch? That's all right. That's all right. Play it one last time. All trombones sing that pitch. Say, no, sing it. Play, play one more time. Everybody on that pitch. <laughs> yeah, we're four out of five. That's good. All right. Second trombone, play your pitch, G natural. That was a tiny bit sharp. All trombones sing that pitch. <laughs> and give me fourth trombone, A flat. Can you, that's pretty low. Can you sing it? Ready? And. Yeah. Okay, you're. I think you're getting it. You sing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, your turn. Maybe it was him. Somebody got it over there. I did not get mine. That's all right. Yeah, good. All right, now play that pitch. Now, what I'm trying to get you to do is listen to it. Now, when I used to do this, and I, I had some bands, that, uh, jazz bands that won a few things, and I had some that didn't too, but uh, I've been through all of this. Uh, and when I'm talking about pitch, if you can sing your pitch, you'll play it better in tune. I totally believe that. Now, the hard part is, the longer you do this, the easier it gets. Right now, it's pretty hard, isn't it? All right, well, play your pitch now. Play that chord, nice chord. I've got you really thinking about everything, aren't I? Ready? And. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's start. Let's take it in. Here's the fast part. So it's uh, the shuffle. One, two, three, four. about 25 to 33. One, two, three. 
four. Now, that's right. Now I'm going to try to stretch you. Could you do it a little bit more? Over and if everyone will do it 10% more, it'll really jump out. Okay? All right, here you go. Same spot, 25, I guess it is. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, guys, I think so. We can watch the last middle school. Jacob Brooks, Dakota Mason, Megan Cherry, and Ella Hopkins. From Clyde Creek Middle School. Julian Franco, Caitlin Kiyuki Yates, Isabel Pineda, Caleb Peterson, Julian Franco, Jacob Zelenka. From Shasta Middle School, Kaya Adams, Eli Peterson, Sam Prentice, and Isaiah Morris. From Judson Middle School, Liliana Finkel, Ben Hackman, and Tyre DeSemple. Sorry. Outstanding middle school soloist award. So, this person may come up and get their soloist award. No, it's gonna be uh, today's outstanding middle school soloist award. Above and beyond goes to Sam Prentice.